Hey guys, in this video we'll go over the 5 best laptops for college students. If you're looking for a laptop for college, it can be hard to decide which device to go for, especially because there's no one size fits all solution that will work for every student. So what you need from a laptop will really depend on what you're studying and how your free time looks. And that's exactly why we've compiled the best range of alternatives in this list to suit all types of students. We'll also go over prices and capabilities, so whether you're looking for a budget option that you can rely on or a premium device with more powerful specs, we've got something for you. All the links to the best deals on all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below, so for the most up-to-date information along with updated prices, be sure to check out the description or visit techalist.com to learn more about each laptop. Without further ado, let's get started. Number 5 on our list is the Lenovo Flex 5. The Flex 5 is one of Lenovo's best bargains that suits a wide range of students. It has a versatile 2-in-1 design, which lets you change the laptop's form, factor, and position. You can use it in laptop mode for your everyday computing, or tent mode when you want to show your presentation, or possibly watch your favorite series on Netflix. And if you want to take notes or sketch, using the included Lenovo Digital Pen, you can fold the Flex 5 all the way into a tablet mode. With this kind of versatility, you can do almost any task, whether studying or entertainment. The keyboard feels good to type on, and it comes with a fingerprint scanner for faster and easier login. As far as connectivity goes, you'll get two USB Type-A ports, an SD card reader, and the power button on the right. And moving to the left-hand side, we have a power port, HDMI, a USB-C, and a headphone jack. Flip the lid and you'll see a 14-inch 1080p ISP touch display with 215 nits and great viewing angles, making it easier to share what's on your screen with others around you. However, the weakest part is the color accuracy, coming in at 45% NTSC and 57% sRGB. So if you have to do actual professional level stuff, you may want to keep looking, but for regular students, it's perfectly fine. Under the hood, it packs a 6 cores AMD Ryzen 5 4500U processor that has integrated graphics with 6 Vega compute units, good enough to run most video games pretty decently. That slugs it out not only with Intel's Core i5, but also some of the high-end Core i7s. You also get 16GB of RAM soldered to the board and 256GB NVMe SSD storage. However, that one is replaceable in case you want to get higher capacity. Plus, you'll get a 51 watt hour battery that can last up to 9 hours. It's really hard to find a flaw in the Lenovo Flex 5, especially at the price point of $700. It outperforms many systems that cost twice as much. So if you're a student looking for a portable 2-in-1 laptop for college that's also stylish, durable, versatile, and powerful enough to keep up with your needs, then the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5 should be at the top of your shortlist. Number 4 is the HP Envy 13. The HP Envy line of laptops is the perfect balance between price, performance, and portability. HP put so much effort into making this mid-range laptop feel like a flagship device. Its sleek metal chassis has some appealing design elements including a chrome trim around the touchpad and a bold wedge shape. While typing, the keys have two-stage backlighting, a relatively deep travel, and a pleasing tactile bump. However, under certain lighting conditions, some of you may have difficulties with the transparent font on the keys. But what I do like is the two-stage backlighting that produces an even white glow, which enhances typing experience. HP cleverly uses a drop-jaw hinge to fit USB Type-A ports onto each side of the laptop, so you can charge your accessories or connect peripherals. On the right side, we have the power port, the drop-jaw USB Type-A port, and a micro SD card slot. On the left, you get a headphone jack, another USB Type-A port, and a single Thunderbolt 4 port for faster transfer speeds or connecting to 4K monitors. Its 13.3-inch 1080p ISP display is among the best available at this price range. It maxes out at 360 nits, bright enough for most indoor applications, and it also features a 97% sRGB and 80% DCI-P3 color gamut, so whether you're viewing text, photos, or movies, it's vibrant and color accurate. There are also a few screen options that go all the way up to 4K touchscreens. And if you prefer a convertible form factor, consider the Envy X360, which is essentially the same laptop with a flexible hinge and touchscreen. The base $849 model comes with the new Ice Lake 11th generation Intel Core i5-1135G7 CPU with Intel XE integrated graphics, 8GB of RAM, and 256GB NVMe SSD storage. There are storage options up to 1TB, but when you're deciding on which specs to get, you want to make sure to choose the ones you can live with because these aren't built to be user upgradable. 
you can expect to get around 9 hours of uptime, which will get you through your college day thanks to its 51 watt hour battery. So if you want a multitasking laptop that can do a little bit of everything while remaining budget friendly and small, I highly recommend this NV13. It delivers faster performance and longer battery life than you'd expect from a sub $1,000 laptop. Number three on our list is the Acer Swift X. Packing the latest hardware and offering a stylish design, Acer has redefined its lineup and introduced the Acer Swift X, which allows students to do professional work, play games, and look fresh at the same time. This is a light laptop at about 3 pounds, so it's not going to weigh you down, and when you open it up, the bottom portion of the laptop lifts to provide better cooling. The keyboard is comfortable, with white backlighting and a fingerprint scanner located below the keyboard that allows you to log in with Windows Hello. The only complaint is that the up and down keys are too close to the arrow keys. The laptop has tons of I.O. On the left you have a power connector, USB Type-C port, full-size HDMI, and a USB Type-A port. And then on your right hand side you have a Kensington lock, another USB port, and headphone jack. The screen is excellent too. It's color accurate enough that you can easily do content creation on it. But the brightness is a little on the lower side, it's just over 300 nits. It is matte though, so you don't get any unnecessary glare or reflections that you normally would get with a glossy display. It covers the color gamut pretty well, 100% sRGB and 72% Adobe RGB, making this a good choice for students who do Lightroom, Photoshop, and of course, video editing. However, the true magic happens on the inside of this one. It packs an energy-efficient AMD Ryzen 7 5800U CPU along with the RTX 3050 Ti graphics card, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and 512 NVMe SSD storage. So even if you do take a class or a course that requires more intensive software, the CPU and GPU inside are most likely going to be able to handle it. It will also allow you to play AAA titles with decent frame rates on full HD resolution and do real 4K video editing on the go. Also, one of the striking features of this laptop is its superb 57 watt hour battery that gives you up to 10 hours of use before you need to charge, which is always great. So if you want a portable laptop with very long battery life, but also need powerful specs, the Swift X should be at the top of your list. It provides excellent value at $1,000 and a significant amount of power that other lightweight 14 inch laptops simply don't offer. Now, if you don't need a dedicated GPU and you like the idea of an Apple MacBook Air, but still want to stick with Windows, stay tuned for the top two options from Dell and Asus coming up next. Number two is the Dell XPS 13. The XPS 13 is an incredibly nice looking laptop, made of a beautiful CNC milled aluminum unibody construction throughout the whole chassis and a nice carbon fiber finish on the inside. Looks that are certainly on par with the MacBook Pro. It's small and lightweight, which is ideal for students that need to take their laptops all over campus. In fact, we'd wager that some students buy it for the aesthetic appeal alone. The chiclet keyboard stretches almost from edge to edge, and the keys are nice and big, which for students who are going to be doing long writing sessions should be a plus, as well as the powerful backlighting. However, you can't have everything, and the XPS 13's port selection is its weakest point, with only four ports. You get a Thunderbolt 4 port and a microSD card slot on the left hand side, and another Thunderbolt 4 port and a headphone jack on the right side. The good news is that both Type-C ports can be used as DisplayPort outputs and both can be used to charge the machine. It also comes with a USB Type-C to Type-A adapter in the box so you can use older devices. In terms of visuals, the base model comes with a gorgeous looking 13.4 inch Full HD IPS display that features 99DC IP3 white color gamut to see your work the way you would imagine it. And it has a 16 to 10 aspect ratio, which means that there's more vertical space when compared to most alternative options, and this simply allows the screen to take up more available space with a 91.5% screen to body ratio. For extra spending, however, you can upgrade this to a 4K screen. That's a lot of extra money, but this is one of the nicest Windows laptop screens we've seen to date. And there is also a 2-in-1 version of the XPX 13 if you're after it. This year, Dell has upgraded the XPS with the latest Intel Evo Platform 11th generation Core i7 processor with Iris Xe graphics that have made this laptop capable of boosting up CPU and GPU performance more than its predecessor. Moreover, you will get a super fast 16 gigs of RAM and up to one terabyte of NVMe SSD storage for storing all your files. And depending on what you're doing, you can expect to get between six and eight hours of battery life, which will most likely get you through your entire college day. At the time of recording, 
The XPS 13 starts at $807 US dollars for the entry-level i3 model with 8 gigs of memory and 256 GB of SSD, and then it goes right up to $2,400 for the top-end model with the highest processor and maxed out memory and storage, with of course some options in between. It's not a cheap laptop, but it is one of the most premium ultrabooks that you can find, and it will undoubtedly attract some attention at the coffee shop. And now onto the number one spot, we have the Asus ZenBook 13 OLED. The ZenBook 13 OLED boasts a compact, thin, and ultra-wide all-metal design using a precision-engineered ergo lift hinge that automatically lifts the rear of the Ultrabook when it's opened, optimizing cooling and enhancing audio quality. Measuring 13.9 millimeters thin and weighing in at 1.14 kilograms, it doesn't take up much desk space, so it's easy to log around and you can comfortably slip it into your bag. Although it's compact, the ZenBook 13 OLED is easy to type on thanks to the edge-to-edge -edge keyboard, which takes up almost the entire Ultrabook's entire wood to accommodate the larger keys with decent spacing. To add to its practicality, it has function keys, while the white Asus NumberPad 2.0 provides an illuminated numeric keypad. Despite its small size, this amazing laptop comes with a decent selection of ports. However, the loss of the audio jack may be a bummer to some, but ASUS has included a USB Type-C port to 3.5mm audio jack in case there's a need for one. You get a USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type-A port, SD card slot, and a power on indicator on the right side. Meanwhile, on the left you'll see a couple of Thunderbolt 4 enabled USB Type-C ports for connecting to external displays, as well as charging for your device, and then the HDMI 2.1 port and another charging indicator. Now, moving on to the display, this ASUS ZenBook 13 is equipped with a gorgeous 13.3-inch OLED Full HD display, something that you'll almost never find on laptops within this price range, as usually those are reserved for more expensive tiers. The quality of this panel is excellent, covering 100% sRGB, 97% Adobe RGB, and 100% DC IP3, so it's incredibly color accurate. You can complete your assignments, watch movies, or do some photo editing without harming your eyes. It also maxes out at 400 nits of brightness, which is above average compared to the competition. And one of the unique features of this device is that you can download the link to my Asus mobile app from the Google Play Store or the App Store to easily transfer files between your PC and your smartphone, mirror your smartphone display to your PC, and use your smartphone as a camera as your laptop's camera, and many other useful features that can boost your productivity and allow for easier multitasking. Under the hood, it packs an Intel i5 1135G7 processor with Intel Iris Xe graphics, 8GB of RAM, and 512GB NVMe SSD storage. And its 67 watt hour battery can last up to 13 hours, which is longer than your typical work or college day. All of this is housed in a durable and good looking body that passed strict and rigorous tests. As you can see, this is not your typical Ultrabook, and for the price of $920, it's a powerful machine for those who want the visual benefits of an OLED screen in a light and portable build. So there you have it guys, if you're looking for a laptop with an OLED screen that's durable, versatile, and powerful enough to keep with all your needs, then you might want to check this one out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us your thoughts about these laptops down in the comments. Which one would you pick and why? And if you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up and click the notification bell for more updates. Also, if you're interested in all things technology, don't forget to follow us on social media for more tech news, reviews, and comparison of all the latest devices. For updated pricing, check the link in the description as prices will change over time. Thanks for watching.